Damn it! The hell was that sh Hey, welcome to the golf vlog. here at beautiful San Hollow Golf Course and uh, today is the day I put my skills to the test. So we went out to California. Let's roll that footage first. We're here in Southern California. I took up golf at the beginning of COVID when Morgan left has something to do and it's quickly become an obsession of mine. Today we're in here, we're gonna get fitted, we're gonna go through the whole process just like the pros do. Hopefully it's gonna elevate my game because I need a little bit of work here. So right now we're gonna go in, we're gonna get a tour, then we're gonna hit the range, maybe test out some clubs, test out their new inventory. I don't know what's in store. We have this big, beautiful building. Let's head inside. We got Lefty up here, we got Phil looking good. Phil's brother, Tim, shout out to Tim. He's actually the one that kind of got me into golf. So. Um, shout out to him. Right off the bat, Jen, you're treating us really well here. I'm doing my best. Treat, look, the triple track. Oh, we got the chrome soft, the, the soccer balls. Love those. They, they gave me a lot because they know I'm still losing about three balls around. So that number needs to go down. This thing is sweet. We'll rock that today. All of these are amazing. are spinning because I know we're gonna be building a house in the next year so I'm just trying to figure out how I could uh, swing <laughs> get it swing uh, putting one of these in the house this place looks sweet it's like our own personal top golf oh my gosh I just got nervous I just got nervous so this is the Ely Cali Performance Center this is um, where as, as an employee of Callaway Golf that works for research and development, I work in conjunction with the Pro Tour Department. We have our touring professionals come down here. Obviously, the, golf, the clubs they use are the tools that are trade, so it's very important that the clubs we set them up with perform in an optimal way, and this is where they discover what type of setup in the club is gonna, and is gonna allow them to play their best. Now, there's a lot of things that are adjustable in a golf club, or things you can choose, different ways to set up the golf club. There's different lofts on the drivers, there's different flexes and weights in the shafts, just the size of the golf club, the length, the dynamic lie angle. So there's a lot of different adjustments that you need to make to make sure that it fits the player. And when it fits really well to the player, they're gonna play their best golf. And obviously for a tour pro, it's important that they have these tools set up so they play at their highest level. And so that's essentially what we're doing here. What we're gonna do with Steve today, we're gonna watch him hit a few swings. We're gonna take some measurements, see how fast he swings, what angle he swings into the ball. So we're gonna try to figure out how we should do the set makeup so that he plays his best golf, just like the pros. We are now, as you can see, in the putting lab here. We got all the Odyssey putters. And uh, putting is, is where you're gonna drop strokes quickly from what I've learned. Like, if, if, if you neglect putting and chipping, it's really hard to get decent scores in golf because you'll three putt, four putt, everything. So we've been working out on the range. We got kind of dialed in. Coach here had me really swinging a lot better doing things that I felt like I was doing, but I wasn't. So he was giving me proper cues. Coaching cues are so important uh, when you have a client, you know, even if you're in the gym, if you're a trainer, if you're a golf, golf instructor, cues are one of the things that people just get it. Um, so got out there, I feel already so much better. So now we're gonna putt and then really hopefully get my game. This is where we get it below 90 consistently.
putted and putted and putted and I'm switching up from a blade to a mallet. We have the Odyssey too long. This is the Las Vegas number seven. We've changed the loft to two. Um, and now we're coming out to the green for a two putt challenge. That is so far away. <laughs> yeah. That, that thing where I can just see the flag down there? Yeah, so it's, there's a flag in the back right corner that sits kind of a little funnel down there. Yeah. Okay. This is like a putt putt so, course. Basically you're gonna go just to the left and you're kind gonna of go from right here. And the key is to two putt it to the that bottom one, the back right corner. Holy crap, this green's amazing though. This is, we didn't really tell you, two putt Callaway challenge out here. I'm on my second putt right here. That was a beast to get it over here, so. Yeah, like right in here. If I make this, we are calling out still though. That after hearing how competitive he is. Go! Go! Uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And now I'm coming to the top. And now the fall line is you gotta figure out to just kind of come right here. Like right there. It's like a wing foot though. This is the real money putt right here. This is. This is like what we've been practicing, if I can make this. And he sinks it for par. Huh? Thank you very much. Two putt challenge in four. <laughs> you know what, I'll take it. Chris is now giving it a go. He hits it hard, but it's tracking right. It's tracking right. Okay, not bad. Chris is on his second shot now. I would say he's set up a little bit better for this. Oh, he's riding it. You're, yeah, that's what I did. You left it short. You left it short, but this is still a better approach shot than I had. All right, go get it. Go get it. Gives it a nice tap. Oh, I don't think he gave it enough. Oh, Chris, Chris. This is about the exact same putt I made to put it in for four and for birdie. If you don't make this now, if you don't make this, you gotta give 10 push-ups for the camera. 10 push-ups for the camera. For four. And to tie. If he doesn't tie, six, six frame with that six, eight wingspan, it's a lot of way down to hit the chest and come back up. Don't feel nervous. Don't feel nervous. You got about seven feet here. Maybe six. And there it goes. Does it have? Oh! oh, feels good to get that one in. <laughs> no, well, you got. You got to do it. There we go. Ten push-ups. We're playing for push-ups today. One, two. Oh, we're 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 gonna get Chris on the swole program here. We're getting Chris on the six-six. He's gonna be two eighty-five at six percent body fat here. That a boy. 285. 285, man. 6% body fat, 285. Well, 
neither one of us did great, but I did, I won by a stroke. I won by a stroke, so it's good times. All right, we're gonna wrap this bad boy up. It's been an amazing day here at Callaway. I not only got fitted for an amazing set of golf clubs, I'm going with the Mavericks, the Dynamic, the Maverick Dynamic on my driver, the Maverick Pros on the iron, um, the Odyssey too long. I'm going with a uh, the mallet instead of the blade. So it's been a great day, beautiful day here in SoCal. Thank you so much, Callaway. So as you guys can see, I got hooked up from Callaway. Got all of my Mavericks all set up. Today I'm gonna be hitting my Maverick Sub-Zero driver. We're out here, it's about 55 degrees. We're gonna play a little two on two. And it just so happens, we got some long ball hitters with us. Each, everyone, all you guys are over 6'4", huh? Yep. Yeah. 6'4", 6'4". Yeah. You're 6'4"? Right, right you're 6'4", six four, four, you're 6'6"? Six six? Six? Yep. All right, I'm the short guy here, but I got my Sub-Zero. So we're gonna play the Lynx course here out of the great Sand Hollow. We got the lake that we go boating on over there. We got the ATV tracks up there. Not a better place in the country to live if you're into outdoor stuff. So we're gonna see how my golf game is. Real quick, I'm gonna take you through my bag. I saw my driver. Then we go a little Maverick three wood. And then we jump to the hybrids. I got my two and three hybrid. My two here, my three here. And then we go five iron. And these are all the Maverick pros. And then I have my awesome Hobbs Cook inspired wedges. Anthony at Callaway, who's in charge of their custom stuff, did these for me. And we got my 50, we got my 54, a little sand wedge here. And then I got my 58. It's Chris and I. How long have you been playing golf? Uh, around the first time or the second time? So you, you, you played in high school a little bit, right? Yeah, I played in high school, 20 year break. 20 year book break, and now you're back. You played in high school too, didn't you? I played growing up. Until like seventh grade, and then I stopped, but just barely getting back into it. And how about you? Coming off the knee surgery? Oh, it's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> playing for pink slips. <laughs> We're 347 yards from the green. We do have the guys on the green. Um, if we drive it, it's just like, hey, you can't get mad at that. We drove the green, so we're gonna go ahead and hit. Oh yeah, partner rips it. You bastard. Not a boy. That's right, playing best ball here. My drive just happened to be the worst one out of the four, so forget you guys. I am here just to drive the cart. Um, the reason I went with Callaway stuff, A, I really, I went in and I tested out a bunch of drivers and their driver was by far the best one um, that I hit that day. So that was pretty much the main reason. And I just like what Cal Callaway's about. They got Steph Curry, they're just, they're, they're pretty much basically, they want everyone to play golf. Golf kind of has an uptight feel. You come out to a course, there's usually some rich people in fancy outfits hitting expensive, expensive clubs and you can definitely feel out of place. And that's why I kind of like uh, the fact that Callaway is like, hey, we're going to do golf for everyone. Nice shot, partner. That's them. Two, two really good drives, guys. I'm going to contribute right here. This is where I'm going to contribute. Get going. Get, Get going. Up. Get really? up. Not too, not too mad about that. We'll take it. This is what I like to see. My partner's ball and my ball. Their ball is off the green and over there by the sagebrush. Ouch! Damn. I missed the putt pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Come back in. Come back in. Oh, it's gonna run. It's gonna run right by there. It's okay. Well, this is to tie. Woo! Ooh. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Tied up. Tied up. On to the next hole, all tied up. We got a 415 par four. 
So the cool thing about Sand Hollow, besides how gorgeous it is out here, is that they have an 18 hole championship course, and then they have this nine hole Lynx course, which is basically more natural, more Scottish feeling. Um, very, you know, the roughs get pretty, pretty rough real quick. The greens or the, the fairways are narrow, not as many hazards, um, but you can definitely get in trouble in this hole if you miss the fairway. Not beautiful, but I'll take it. It's in the grass. It's right on the edge. In the grass. This is right down the middle, so yeah. I'm happy about that. It's celebration okay. of November. <laughs> How's it look today? Looks good. Do I need to do some more waxing? It, it definitely, I feel like, fits the golf course, like the Lynx course out here. Probably does, yeah. Nice. Here's the thing, when I play golf, I swear a lot. Lots of hells and dammits and shizzes and occasional F-bombs, okay? It just happens to me when I play golf. Luckily, Chris's second shot went on the green. I shanked mine a little bit. Damn it. You're gonna hear some definite beeps. This is the in golf that drives me nuts. I hit a shot, I didn't hit it well, and now I'm searching for it. I swear I could see it when it landed, but now I'm just out here in the damn brush an American flag. Let me know if you guys have seen it. Yeah. All right, man, you can say it. I'm a lot of shit no pressure, Tyson. No pressure, man. You got this. Make your choices. Do your best. That's a pretty good roll. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, I was gonna say, go to hell, man. Ah, you son of a bitch. Oh. oh, are you too good for your home? Son of a bitch, Paul, why didn't you just go home? That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. Damn, Paul. Sometimes, um, I just, I walk off my anger. So I just say, hey, meet you at the next hole. I'm gonna walk this one off. And I just take a stroll to the next hole because I have anger management issues. The thing about golf is it, you have to have patience. Golf is one of the most frustrating games ever invented. And if you're not patient, it will eat you up. Nothing prepares you for a life like golf. You can do everything right and still get the short end of the stick, so. I need to learn that. I think God put golf in my life before I have kids for a specific reason. So I actually started playing golf like 15 years ago. I picked it up for a summer and tried playing quite a bit. Just got so mad. Broke my clubs one time. Figured it wasn't good for my health. But now we're back with a vengeance. Oh, beautiful shot. You know what Helen knows the owner. The owner is just coming. You do? Oh, Helen is the owner. Mm. Oh, hang on. The mustache is rattled. All right, let's go now. Let's give it a ride. Let's give it a ride. Huh? Talk to like a baseball player. I'm gonna really get after this. Right next to yours. Yeah. Best buddy, though. Best buddy. Ooh. You did. It, it, did it get out of the bushes? Freaking big slim. It's like Kevin Durant out here golfing. Was I really out drove by a pink ball? Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna live that down. There's his. There's mine. What did we drive it? 
278. Yeah. I'll take that. It's not a bad drive. What are we? 252. This is a par five. This is a par five. We're still 252. I hit it basically 280. And we still got 252 to go. So we're going to go uh, three wood or two hybrid off the deck. 252 out with your four iron. Oh, that's my teammate right there. Come down. Oh, it's that nasty stuff. A four? Nice shot. That'll work though. We'll see how this goes. We tied that hole. Should have sank that putt for a birdie, but we tied. We're down one through three. Kiss my ass, let's go. Pay your divots. Tied on that hole. Damn it, we needed to get one there. We'll take it. Absolutely hammered. As I play golf, I get more and more upset with my dad for not making me play golf. It's a lifetime sport. You play it all the time as you grow up. It's that where business gets done. So dad, or dad's out there, make sure your kids play golf. Nice shot, man. Jeez, look at 320 drive. A few moments later. Down by one. We got a 575 yard par five. Ah, no. <laughs> oh. Still the game. All right, well, we'll take it. Except for that's a, it's a hell of a shot, but yeah. it's not OB. Good news, we're not OB. Bad news, San Hollow is a sand trap everywhere but the green stuff. Holy crap. Get up. Good shot, Steve. Good shot. There's their shot. There is Chris. Is Chris? Oh, that almost released. Like, how did that hit there and not release down there? Should have gone in. All right. Well, we got a putt off. If we can somehow make this, they can miss. We would tie up and force a one-hole playoff. You got what it takes here. I'm gonna let you put this in so we don't even have to think about it. So when we make this and you guys miss, do we do a one hole playoff? All right. We're just gonna go play number one again. That's what we're gonna do here. Light is fading. Got a sweet little sunset happening out here. Chris is gonna sink this. They're gonna miss. We're going to playoffs. Get in, get in. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I oh, am. Yeah. Who do you think you are? I oh, am. Yeah. Freaking knew, knew it was going to drop. How nervous are you guys right now? Zero nervous. Oh, good. He's going to make it. I'm just glad we're going to use that bowling reference. Yep, yep, oh my yep, gosh. yep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nice putt.
The hope, the hope four is gonna do it. If this damn pink ball goes in, I'm taking it out of the hole and throwing it in the weeds. Yes, okay, we got a playoff, boys. <laughs> Dude, what are the odds of that? I'm not worried at all. <laughs> all right. We got ourselves a playoff. Back to hole number one. We will tee off and uh, we're not ending. We will be out here until it is pitch black to decide the Sand Hollow first annual Lynx Championship. We got time for one hole. Back to the first, 347 yard par four. Little elevated. Let's have at it. Let's have at it. That'll work. Yahtzee. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. That's a good ball. We're thinking Chris is in the sand. I had a pretty crappy tee shot, I'm not gonna lie. It was very, very, he uh, hit the ground first, so hopefully his is playable because it's fairly close and uh, we need this one. We need this one bad. It's starting to get pretty cold out here. We need to finish this up, wrap it up, and go in. This is what we have, kids. You guys are right here, we're right here, Steve. You guys want me to go? Steve, Sandy Bottoms, Cook. It comes a time at everyone's golf game where there's that one, that one shot. I'm due, fellas, I'm due. Sit. It. Yeah. Not terrible. It's not good. Flew the green. Get going. Get going. Get going. We'll take it. Nice shot. Teach, do you feel pressure? Like, are you a guy that feels it? No. The, the first annual Sand Hollow Lynx. Yes. Oh, he crisped yes. it. Did it go? It's not oh. going to. We got ourselves a put off. So hard. Let's go. Cue the Eminem music. One shot, one opportunity, mom spaghetti, let's go! And the cart shut. <laughs> the cart, <laughs> we're too close. <sighs> That's Steve and I. This is TJ and Tyson. This is for all the marbles. Ooh, that's a good try right there. Come back. Uh, Oof. Good enough. Hopefully. I think that's a gimme Hopefully. right there. We'll give that to you. Because we're going to sink this. Real simple. We sink it, we go home winners. Oh my gosh, get in. Oh! Well, one of us has to sink it now to tie. And uh, you bet we're gonna be playing another hole if we both tie this. Oof. I'm so sorry. I failed you. You trusted me. And I failed you. Son of a gun! 
<laughs> Damn it! Good game. Good game. <sighs> Good game. That was fun. Shout out to us. Well, poop. They say you win some and you lose some. Um, in golf, I do a lot of losing. It's been six months of character building, as I like to call it. So, yeah, I had a good time out here today. Forced the playoff. Shout out to uh, my partner for making some big shots. That putt on uh, nine was huge. I really didn't feel like I played that well today. I felt like I missed a lot of shots, missed a lot of fairways, and just overall, I uh, just got a lot of improvement to make before I take on Dustin Johnson. So, uh, you know, shout out to Callaway. Again, we had a good time. Honestly, golf's fun. We're gonna get Morgan out here. Beautiful setting, having a good time. Thanks for watching the golf vlog. We got a lot of ways to go, but we're having a good time doing it.